It's called the Housing Unit for Military Veterans, or Humvee, which opened nearly three years ago at the Middlesex Jail and House of Correction in Bill Ricca. A hyperstructural military barracks setting open to sentence inmates and pretrial detainees. It's outfitted with a barbershop, rec room, gym, and lounge area, familiar surroundings which allow inmates to interact on an equal footing. There are units where you are in a cell 22 to 23 hours a day. Uh, at the Humvee, it's set up like a barracks, first of all. So everybody being a veteran, very used to a barracks like setting. Humvee's sole purpose is to treat and prepare these veterans to re-enter society, empowering the inmates to be themselves and not be defined by the mistakes that brought them here. It also gives them the help they either ignored or never knew existed. To try to find those people that are in the greatest crisis, to be able to address their needs and hopefully get them out of the system, repeating in and out correctional mm -hmm. criminal justice, ruining their lives, costing a lot of money and really never moving uh, the needle. Through the help of high-level partnerships with behavioral experts from area hospitals, universities, veteran services and affairs, these veterans undergo everything from substance abuse treatment to vocational and employment readiness. Uh, when you put all these people together, um, you create a unit that is <clears throat> highly therapeutic. But then what's really important is because of the status of these men and because of our engagement with them and sometimes even upgrading their status, their discharge status, we're able to get them into the programs that help them specifically for some of their needs. And it might be PTSD, it might be traumatic brain injury, but it could be just anything else that's ailing other people. But these people, because of their service to our country, have access to programming that maybe others don't. Mm -hmm. That's why it works. Another campaign known as People Achieving Change Together, or PACT, the first of its kind in America, is catching the eye of corrections officials overseas. PACT houses young adult offenders, ages 18 to 24, and is using our veterans to counsel the younger inhabitants. We have a group of veterans that go up to that unit and talk to those kids and stuff like that, kind of hoping that, not a scared straight, but, uh, you know, don't wind up with me, kind of thing. Imparting some wisdom from the past in order to leave it behind and look forward to better days. Sheriff Katushin says the average recidivism rate in the Humvee unit stands at anywhere between 7 and 8 percent, compared to the statewide average of anywhere between 50 and 60 percent. He says encouraging numbers like that are disproving the notion that this is just another marginalized and mysterious fortress on a hill. It's part of a community, and what's happening behind these walls is a public service in its purest essence. I'm Jeff Barnd. Arlington Public News.